Curbs, good to see you back there. Let's see if we get you a little closer in the future. I guess overall, what's it feel like to be back on the field? And I guess, what do you even focus on on a day like today? <laughs> There's a lot going on out there, that's for sure. Uh, it's great to be back out there. Um, excited you could, you know, things that we've uh, talked about before, retention, uh, you know, you know, playing in December and, and the benefits of that and, and to kind of see the confidence and the leadership of our, our guys kind of take, take hold right away from the start. You know, fair amount of newcomers kind of jumping in and getting a feel for how we go about it. So it, it was great. It was exciting. And like I said, there's now here in about 45 minutes, we'll, we'll jump in on the film and really start, you know, looking at the, at the pace we're going. It's hard to really get a, a lot of a lot of things. I don't want to say corrected or evaluated, but there's so much there that we're looking at that now it's that now you go back in the classroom and you get it corrected tomorrow in the meetings. And you do six practices, I think, before spring break. Yeah. Like, what are you looking to get accomplished during this first portion? Well, again, yeah, you have to go with the spiders and the helmets only get a lot of things introduced, establish a, again our expectations. Uh, again, there's a lot on in, in all three areas of the game. We have to, you know, we we're going to concentrate on. Obviously, installation, some off-season, uh, you know, studies and analysis of what what we did well and but where we have to improve. Um, you know, evaluating some of those newcomers, like I said before, working our physicality on both sides. Um, some emphasis on the outside perimeter game of on both sides of playing it and being physical, and also, uh, you know, still, uh, you know, probably adding in and looking how. The, you know, what we're doing offensively to be creative and kind of vary and break tendencies and, and those things and all that. So there's a lot to it offensive line wise, you know, uh, you know, continue to create competition at spots, um, move, moving a few guys around some different spots, all those type of things. So. I don't think we saw Patrick Joyner out there today. Yeah. Um, what's his status? Yeah, he'll like? be, he, he should be hopefully out there. Um, we're hoping he'll start some stuff um, uh, maybe Saturday, I think, at the latest is what we talked about. Is it injury-related? Yeah, yeah, it just small. It was, you know, just a small setback. Well, but uh, he's anxious and where he should be. And, you know, a lot of this is, you know, a little bit preventative, too, for the long haul. When you mentioned the newcomers, are there any that excite you to see them get going? Oh, all of them. I'm excited to, to, to have them part of this program. Uh, you know, I know where the, uh, you know, the traditional questions probably will, will lie with some of you. I mean, you mentioned him, you know, uh, J.B. Brown, another one excited, Austin Booker, Gage Keys, uh, Devin, uh, you know, watching those guys on defense. I'm excited to see them all. There's a lot, a lot happening there. Uh, you know, so there's, there's a lot that it's still early to, to make a to make a judge on anyone. But I just want to see where the competition's gonna gonna put itself. I, I put Kobe Baines almost in this group a little bit too because he joined us so late, and now he's got a little more familiarity. But uh, kind of excited to see where he goes. Um, you know, Big Spencer. Uh, you know, another guy. You know, like I said to you guys before. Um, you know, really l looking back after our first season. You know. The, the amount of upperclassmen we lost in that backup offensive line, I think, really kind of, um, you know, caused a little bit of gap of, of maturity and development there that we're trying to catch up on. And and as some of those guys get older, uh, you know, Nolan, Kassar, uh, uh, Nolan and DK and some other guys, we you know now we're trying to balance that that group in there. So I, I think that's really helping us. You know, Mike Davitsky won't do much this spring. Um, as as he as he heals up, um, so it's going to give us some opportunities to work multiple guys at center and and continue to create more depth and versatility. When you mentioned Patrick and Mike. Is there anyone else you think is going to be limited or just not available throughout spring well, ball? Yeah, you know Kenny. Kenny won't won't do. You know we we'll hope we'll get Kenny some work, uh, some indie drills and stuff maybe in the back half of spring, but he's not going to do much. 
Um, Marvin Grant will be limited most of the spring as well. Um, you know, Tanaka Scott didn't go today. We'll try to get him back. Um, I think those are the main ones right now. You know, Jalen will still be kind of a, you know, uh, you know, monitored, you know, how much throwing he'll do, things like that. When, when a guy like Kenny's out for however long it is, what are you looking for him to accomplish? What do you want him to focus on if he's well, not on again, the Kenny's got, uh, you know, Kenny knows individual things that, that he wants to address and work on. And, and as he as we come out of spring break, I think he'll be able to concentrate more on those. Uh, again, uh, there's other ways to, to develop and 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 grow as you as you rehab and do other things it's it's uh you know other parts of the game and understanding not always always have to do it um you know continue to work on leadership and things understanding not just what he does with the defense but maybe this gives him a chance to watch and understand what happens in front of him and why a little bit more than understands the fits and things like that um, a lot of a lot of things that he can he, he can do and and will do during this time. Um, some things in special teams that we wanted you know him to be part of probably in fall camp that allow him to continue to grow for his future. And uh, so there's there's things we've talked about. I think Jackson Satterwhite was working with Coach Fuchs, looked like in maybe a coaching role. Is he done playing football for you guys? Yeah, Jackson's taken a medical hardship. He's, you know, really fought through a lot of back issues, and um, you know, and as much as he wants to, but boy, he's he's jumped in, and and um, you know, his father's did some junior college coaching and things like that, and you can see it's in his blood, and he's jumped right in, and um, I think he's got a real bright future at it if he really wants to do this, and I think he does, and and he he uh, as much as it. And it, it was a, you know, these were conversations that he fought through a long time, and most guys would have would have probably checked out a lot sooner than what he did. And, and but it it was determined for the best for the longevity of his you know, well-being for life and life after football that the, the, this decision was made. But uh, as we kind of went through it, we we proposed it that we wanted to have him around and. Man, he's around the building as much as anybody right now, and, and that's really cool to see. I know it's just one practice, but athletically in the front seven, does it look a little different, you know, when it's just live and, and they're out there? Yeah, that's hard. And, I, you know, I sure hope it does. I mean, yeah, but, you know, we lost a lot of older players up in the front four, you know, and there's there's going to be a, a learning curve there. But uh, like I said early, just some, some initial things of, of watching some of the newcomers. But again, I, I know it's it's. I think it's human nature that we we dwell on a lot of the new additions. But I, I think one thing we all learned last year is that, you know, what the competition did in the spring that made guys that were in the program better. And I, I go to the linebacker position last year, a uh, Taiwan Barry Hill and, and and guys like that. So, um, I'm excited about the continued development of. Tommy Dunn Jr. and DJ Withers and where Ron McGee and Keena Caldwell, where where do they where are they in in this rotation of, of things? Uh, you know, Caleb Taylor's a guy that's very steady. Um, you know, where you know, as he continues to to grow and mature just personally in this defense, where where is that gonna be? Um we know um, Hayden Hatcher is going to play hard for us and do some things that way. Jeremy Robinson is it continues to get better and more confident and establish himself as a respected leader in this program. So those are the things as well that 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 you want to see it come and when the pads come on and and we start doing those things. I think we have a you know every guy still we all and coaches included have plenty to work on. But you know the, the Rich Millers and the Craig Youngs. Now, now Craig's in his second spring with us, so all those things should help us. Um, you know, I know we mentioned you know O.J. Burroughs is a guy who's uh, an excellent athlete, but I think with with Kenny's personality and his experience, you know O.J. didn't always have to be the leader of communication, and this is going to help O.J. in so many ways of 
being out there with, with other guys that he'll have to do it. I, Mason Ellis and Caleb Purdy, Jalen Dye, those guys, we're, we, we, we need to see who in that group is going to kind of surface to be in the rotation of guys that are going to step up. So I, I'm excited about that at this time because that's what's going to help us take another step as a program. Coach, uh, given a couple months of, of perspective now, what's your sense of how the guys are reacting to uh, uh, the bowl game, you know, achieving so many great goals and doing so much, ultimately coming up just so so close and a thrilling finish? Do they want to? You think they're going to be able to use that for inspiration, or do they want to just put it behind them, or what's their attitude? Well, I, I think they. You know, we don't spend a lot of time talking about it in that regard, I guess. But I, I think there's a there's a confidence factor of of getting there but I think there's that sense of determination now to, to again take another step in our program um, inconsistency um, a day at a time week at a time to earn another opportunity there and then and then see where that takes us and that is so many months away I don't want to get ahead of us as we have to you know stay focused there but I, I do feel there's a different sense of uh, pride and confidence that now we can line up with people and do things on a weekly basis. And we've been able to show that for a long time, but there's still an understanding of um, we, we have to be better in, you know, in, in some areas to be able to be there each and every week. And, and I, I think we're, we're on, we're on the right path to work to do that. Lance, what was it like yesterday seeing the players' reaction when they showed him the video of all the facilities and upgrades it, coming? It was great. It was, uh, you know, I really want to, again, thank Travis and, and, and Chancellor Gerard again for, for the, the pace in which we are operating to, to change this program um, and, and the resources and, and understanding that they have in, in this when, when we talk about it. I was able to... Uh, I can get my days straight here about 10 days ago, 12 days ago, took uh, uh, Jalen and Rich Miller went down with me to to view the sample locker of what and, and Rich was familiar with because we, we worked with this company in Buffalo um, and this and it had the model of, of what we what we did in Buffalo compared to the one we have now. And it's like, uh, you know, um, it, it's a night and day difference of of what what it what it is and what it can do and what what the guys have now. Um, I don't even know fully if they'll understand it till it's all put together and what the plan is and and as this plan continues to be um, finalized and then revealed, it's it, it's going to be a difference maker for us in so many different ways. But it was neat to see and a great way to kick off the start of spring. Um, you know, we had talked about doing it at one time before, right before spring break, and kind of. But um, I really, I really is glad that they made the decision to do it yesterday, for a lot of reasons. As uh, we we enter a quiet period where where we'll start having more uh, prospects on campus starting tomorrow, um, that we're able to talk more about it. It's it's happening. It's going to happen, and. Uh, it's it's not just talk anymore and and that's exciting and kind of what you're saying as well it was very important to me that we were able to try to do things for this current group as fast as possible for for their efforts and where where they're helping take this program when you get back to this this group and you talked a minute ago about being more physical on both sides of the ball, I know that's always an emphasis. But how do you how do you achieve something like that in in spring? Well, it's a balance, Matt. It really is. But it, it's something with the demeanor and emphasis. And we started with some drills today that that were implemented that were used that you can use in in, in the uh, in the dress format of today. But it'll it'll pick up. Um, as we put the pads on, it doesn't, you know, sometimes everybody says be, you know, be physical. That means you're going to tackle more. And, but it's a, it's a mentality of how you go about it and in your mindset of, of different things uh, through the drill work. And, and, uh, and we're probably going to emphasize that a lot more than we have in our, in, in the past. I was going to say two springs, but since we've only been here one, I, you know, but uh, through our camps and, and previous spring practices. And, 
How much do you want that to come from from players, not just your coaches yelling at them to do it, but yeah, your guys? you know that's fall. You know that, that that to me can be. It's not all hype there. It's about going out and executing, and, and that again is the challenge for us to to evaluate that um, as we're watching the film. It has to come, and it's a mentality and. And sometimes you either have it or you don't, you know, and, and we're going to find out at where, where you're at. And, and again, I, I don't see us backing down from it and we're going to keep emphasizing it. And then you're able to, um, you know, I, I think you embrace it more. And, and I, I think this group understands it. I think our defense does and, and, and wants to get better. And, uh, you know, again, it's we're going to, you know, as a head coach and, and as coaches, we've got to, we, we've got to make that happen in other ways and, and, and we'll find it. You might have already answered this kind of in almost everything you've said, but, but let's fast forward to April 8th and you're looking after the spring showcased and, and you're looking back at what you just did. What, what will you determine made <laughs> oh, wow. this whole thing successful this spring, these well, 15 practices? Yeah, I, I think, uh, again, um, you know, some of those answers defensively of, of departed players, where we're going to be um, rotationally, especially up front, since we don't, you know, those guys are rotating and split in time. Um, you know, where we, you know, the, the backup safety position, I think, will be interesting. The development, and, and I, I like where we're at at the corner spot. Um, you know, I think uh, Mello and, and Kobe have continued to, Get stronger, and they're you know they're they're they have they got experience now, confidence, and as they continue to develop in the weight room and doing those things, you see them gain even more confidence in what they're doing. I think Kalen Gervin's have a really good, uh, um, you know, off season so far, and he's taken that and he's gonna you know play in some nickel situations. So. Um, you know, all of that, uh, Brian Dilworth's a player that I think has a lot of ability, um, again, to see him continue to grow. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to all that, uh, where, where we're at, at, uh, at the, with our linebacker rotation, not just the three that have started. And, and that'll, all those guys I just mentioned, where does that carry us in special teams and where we're going to be better in there? And, um, you know, we have to be better in the kicking game in all phases, and we've got to find ways to gain, whether it be possessions, yardage, all those things um, through that. So that'll be part of our evaluation as we go, which is sometimes difficult in the spring because you're not doing a lot of full. It's more mainly technique, but we'll, we'll continue to work that way. So, um, yeah, and... Uh, you know, I look at you know where we're at at running back. I know he didn't add. You know, Daniel Daniel Highshaw did not practice today, and 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 will be held for a while yet. Um, but uh, I thought Dylan McDuffie, and, you know, Dylan knows our system and and knows how we practice. He probably and, and that showed today right away because he knows what's expected of the back and finishing and ball security, all that. So it was great to see him kind of jump in and and go. You know, uh, and and he'll have a chance to to, to help in various roles. So, um, the receiver position. Okay, we have you know who's going to be. You know, again, that's a that, that's a nice core. Who's gonna who's gonna step up? Maybe separate themselves a little bit more. The tight end position and the, and all the flexibility we have there. That that's going to be another thing we we will continue to look at. So. Um, you know, it's expected, of course, that we're going to get better. How much better are we going to think in 15 practices is going to probably be the best way to, to look at it. Um, it's it's unique, I guess, Matt, is that, you know, we used to sit up here and, and talk about all the things that we had no idea what we were really going to, what we're watching, what we're doing, how far we have to go. And and we do now. And, uh, and now it's a matter of we keep uh, raising the expectation for us to get better. Um, you know, I, I guess I didn't have one. You know, he was going through some, you know, he's he's been doing drills, this and that, and then, you know, like Tanaka Scott. Okay, it's a muscle thing. It's not a. It's not the injury. Okay, so. I, I think uh, you have like 88 players, based on just counting through here, that at one point took a red shirt. Can you talk about what the importance of the red shirting process is, and is that a high number? Is that about normal? Well, first of all, I didn't know that, so you kind of got me. <laughs> um, um, 
Well, first of all, we have, a, we have about 118 guys, I think, right now. It's a lot of guys. Um, we brought 110 into camp. So we're operating above in August right now, which was – so if, you, if you're out there watching, we're, we're trying to get a lot done. I know you're not in there during some of the team stuff, but we're, we're running up to three offensive huddles um, uh, at a time. So uh, a lot of people – and that's why some of my comments will, will be vague, as even more vague probably, Matt, than normal. So um, – because I'll have to wait till we really go in and watch it because you're, you're trying to get your eyes on a lot of different things. Um, as far as the red shirting, um, I like it because, again, you're, 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 you're trying to develop guys at a, you know, especially in today's, I guess, new era of things. I think you see a lot of, a lot of older players. I think we've talked in here again. Our first year with the youngest Power Five football team in the, in, in the country. Now that doesn't mean we still have redshirted younger players, but if we can continue to do that, develop players, keep them in there in the program, minimize attrition, I think it gives you a chance to be a successful football program. Okay. Thanks, so right. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Anybody else that didn't get a chance to ask one, want to? I'm, I don't mean to overrule Andy here, but I will if somebody has one. So, all right. Have a good day.